Sprint Ray, a 3D printing company. We're founded by two PhDs in engineering from University of Southern California who specialized in 3D printing. Uh, we've been around for about two years now, developing our first um, offering, Moonray, a UV DLP printer. We sell Moonray, and that's a $3,500 DLP printer. Uh, what's special about it is for the resolution that you're getting out of it, there's nothing else like it on the market. Parts like these, which are so fine, require incredible tolerance and resolution. And that's something which we're capable of because our machine uses a custom projector. Now typically for the DLP technology, you're gonna use something, if you wanna make a simple machine, you're gonna use something off the wall. You're gonna use a standard like Panasonic projector. Now those are great if you wanna watch Breaking Bad, but if you wanna print a 3D model of Walter White in high resolution, you're gonna to need to make it yourself. So we spent a year and a half of hard R&D developing this printer uh, projector and it came out even better than we expected. This is just one part we printed to show off what you can practically do. This was actually printed at the 50 micron Z resolution. We're capable of 20 and our XY resolution is 100 microns. So that is a true 100 microns. Some people sell their printers according to what is theoretically possible and that's based off of the number of pixels in the projector. We actually measure it. So if we say it's 100 microns, you can look at this part to confirm that it is a true 100 microns. Here's another part that we have. It is so high resolution and so tiny that it isn't practical for most purposes, but uh, we work with a lot of dentists and jewelers and they look at parts under a microscope, which is why this test bench we have is so impressive to them. So we developed our own software. Uh, there's a lot of good open source solutions out there for 3D printing, but we developed our own for one specific reason. And that's because the support structures uh, aren't good enough. If you try to print a model in specific orientations, you're gonna need to support it. And the ones which are on the market right now are typically kind of like a pike figure. So it starts at the bottom thicker and it goes up and it tapers off at the very top. And there's a pretty high point of contact. And to break off something like that, you're either gonna need scissors or tweezers and that's going to leave some sort of um, like visible piece left on the part or you can tear it off with your hands and most likely you'll be breaking your part. So we did more research into this and we found that it is possible to generate a honeycomb structure. So that's what we've been working on primarily for the past year is finding an algorithm which analyzes a part in its orientation and it asks what is the minimum amount of support structure I need for this to be architecturally viable. So number one that saves you on resin because we're using less than, is, than other supports will do but the most I guess the killer app of it is you won't break your part. 2016 is going to be a huge year for us at Sprint Ray. We had a successful Kickstarter campaign in 2015 and we'll be delivering to our backers next month in February. Um, we're also starting full retail sales and then we'll have some new offerings um, and hope we can surprise you with some exciting new features.